exactly what I asked you not to do. Well, hello there, folks. I don't know if anybody's going to show up. I did not do a lot of advertising for this. And I'm looking in the wrong direction. Hello, Angela. You're on your lunch break from work. Hi, Nathan. Hello, sweet Serbian. How are you, honey? What time is it there? Hi, Joelle. Hello, Belinda. I hope you guys aren't mad at me. This took me so long to get the last orders out. I'm doing all right. I'm 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 getting better every day. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just was... All in the attic treasures. Hi. Um, uh, I ate where I'm looking here. 10 o'clock at night. It's good to see everybody. Um, as I had mentioned, I lost three people very quickly. And uh, so I've been a little bit. Uh, hi, Pickled Tank. Um, kind of dragging around, dragging butt, and uh, so I am just trying to get myself together. Um, I'm not gonna do, I thought I'd do it today, a little sale, just a little one, uh, because I won't be doing any sales Friday or the following Friday because we are going away for our, for our anniversary. And we've been married, Nettie. Oh, you're sorry to hear I won't be, or sorry about my uh, losses. So anyway, hi, Maria Ladybug. Ron and I have been married. Thank you, guys. I, I really do appreciate it. You don't even know, because, hi, Rebecca. Um, it was my uncle that passed away, my last, you know, uncle or aunt. And then a good friend of mine um, that I knew from the campground. And then it was my, she was my ex-mother-in-law. But honestly, she was more like my mother to me. And uh, that one was, that one, they were all bad. They were all bad. Hi, Amy Cox. So I'm hoping when we, hi, Josie, when we get away on our little trip, where we're going is uh, like a cabin. I cut my bangs. <laughs> cabin in the woods. In the woods. And yeah, it is. It, it was just, it was too much. So uh, we're going to celebrate our anniversary. We're going to do some buying, guys. And this is our area rich in old things. That's because we just went down there. And uh, <laughs> so I'm hoping to bring back some good stuff. And I'm planning on doing a live sale, uh, not a live sale. A live haul on Thursday um, for the to show you some of the stuff I bought. I'm not going to show you everything because I want to leave some of it as a big surprise for when I get back home. I'm hoping I find lots and lots and lots of good stuff. Yeah, it's true. And my problem was, I thought, I'll just keep pushing myself and pushing myself. And I won't realize, you know, I'll, I'll get over it better. But all it did was just mess me up because uh, I just kept getting behind and dragging. I couldn't seem to get anything done. So, uh, yeah, it kind of messed me up. Uh 
five years. It's five years this year. And they said it wouldn't last. <laughs> we met on one of those, that uh, website called, um, I know I do too. Thank you, time traveler. Uh, I love this kitchen because it is very bright and uh, cheerful. You know, it, it's a nice kitchen. Well, I don't have a very long sale because somebody's going to be joining in behind me at, uh, let's see, what is it? Three, four, at four. Yes, I, I, it has a fireplace. It has a saltwater hot tub so that you can go in it even this time of year. And so I'm definitely planning on going in the hot tub, sitting by the fire, looking out the... It has, I guess, three big picture windows to look out at the woods and stuff. And uh, what else does it have? Everything's furnished. It has two bedrooms. It has its own swimming pool, but of course it's not open this time of year. Prophetstown, Illinois. I don't know where that is. Yeah, I love to go camping too. Uh, my glasses are so dirty. Um, we had her. We had a lot at a, you know it was like a permanent campsite, and uh, I loved it. Ron wasn't near as uh, in love with it as I was. I had it long before I met him. So um, I saw. I'm selling it to my daughter. Oh, I can see now. So, um, I guess we'll get started because I don't have a long time. And if you can remember to put your thumbs up, I would really love it. Thank you, Belinda. I hope so, too. I'm sure. Unless there's some kind of bad, horrible weather. Oh, not far from DeKalb, Illinois. Um, if, yeah, I know where that is. If, uh... Unless it's horrible all the way down. Once we get there, I don't care. It could snow. We're not going to be going anywhere really far. I look like I'm looking this way, and I'm really sorry. But it's just the way my camera is. I'm, I should try to move it a little bit. That's a little bit better. So anyway, um, I'm going to get started. And... Uh, Oh, I got the book that Ron needs. So I have to pass it over to Ron. There we go. Now we're settled. And I think what I'm going to start with, just making me think of summer. Woo! Hi, Sue Gillespie. Go, wait, it's not Gillespie. It's Go Golombeski. Golombeski. I still have a hard time with Phillips. <laughs> Actually, it's the easiest name I've ever had. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Okay, these are uh, watermelon salt and pepper shakers. Those are water pumpkins. And they look, uh, I think it's cool because they made them look, you know, textured and stuff like watermelon really is. They do have their stoppers. They are made in China, but that doesn't mean we can't love them anyway. And they are $5, number 14. $5, number 14. For the watermelon salt and pepper shakers. Water pumpkin. I know I wish I had some watermelon right now. They do look yummy to me. Okay. Um, I have this really cute little tin. It's, uh, it had in it originally, I don't know, it was 13. It had, it had stuff in it. It's written in uh, French, I think, also. 
Because it's from Quebec. Okay, well, anyway, it is this Laura Secord, Secord Easter egg. Oh, there's an Easter egg in here. That looks like this. And I thought that was such an old-fashioned looking Easter picture. I thought it'd be really cute, you know, on a shelf behind with other stuff in front of it. And it's hinged. There's no egg in it, darn it. Probably, uh, I had a lot of calories, though. A third of the egg was 210 calories. Anyway, it is $3, number 25. Wait, 25, yeah, I smeared it. $3, number 25, for the little Easter um, tin. tin. Joel. Joel Natal, I see first. Thank you, honey. Hi, Katie. Hi, Nettie. Oh, I already said hi, Nettie. Hi, Nettie again. Um, I do have some jewelry. I love jewelry, so I love to show jewelry. And this is Avon, Vintage Avon. And it is a butterfly necklace. And it looks like this. It's these little, it's like a little, almost like a little lariat kind of thing. Um, it's got about an 18 inch chain, I would say. Uh, maybe 16. I'd say about 18. It's a almost, little... Uh, almost like a bowl. It's like a little uh, chain. Yeah. It's like a... Uh, I can't even think of the name of the chain. Anyway, it's a chain. And it's $5. And it is number 24. $5. Number 24. For the little butterfly necklace. And Judge Avon, it is stamped Avon on the back. Angela Marksberry. I thought it looked very springy. A rope chain is what I was trying to think of. Duh. Did you hear me? Angela Marksberry. Thank you, my dear. Now, for you craft people out there, I don't know if there's very many, but um, I have a baggie full of, um, or if you want to get it, in case you're missing um, letters for your Scrabble game, I there's four the four um, you know holders, the trays. So if you're going to use it for crafting too, like if you want to use it for putting, you know, like Easter or something in front of stuff. So I have um, the bag with the trays. It's $5 and it's number 13. $5 number 13 for the Scrabble letters and the trays. Belinda. Belinda, my craft girl. Rebecca was looking too. Thank you, dear. These are hard to come by. I looked and looked and looked. I can't remember where I found my first ones. So I have some, so I don't need them. But when I found more, I said somebody else might need them. Okay. And I don't remember who it was that liked snowmen, but they bought a couple of my snowmen. Well, here's another one of my snowmen. And he's got ski poles. He does not have skis because he's got big fat feet. But uh, he does stand up. Nope, he doesn't. You have to prop him up. Thrifting in the holler. Hello, she's in the house. 
And he's got a really cute little face. And he's got a big old fat back. He's very cute. And he is $7 number 10. $7 number 10 for the skiing snowman. Thank you, Katie. I have some very old, they are actually antique books because of their age. The first one is Campfire Girls Test of Friendship. And uh, it is from it is from nineteen eighteen, I believe, or eight. Anyway, it is um, five dollars. And it's number two. It's, I'm amazed that it still has its uh, cover, dust cover. But look, look at the picture on this. Is that not the coolest? That is just so cool. What number? Uh, it is number two. I want It's either 1910, 1908, something like that. I'm, uh, it's $5. $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. Rebecca. Rebecca Higgins. Thank you, honey. I'm going to be so confused today because I'm going to think it's Friday all day. Okay, I the color for the stone for uh, February is the amethyst, and this is a beautiful amethyst bowl that has been hand blown. It's got the pontal here on the bottom. Um, it's very pretty, and it is six dollars, number seven. Six dollars, number seven. It's got the clear glass. On top, Rebecca Higgins. Thank you, honey. And then it's got the clear on the bottom. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to put these things where they make sense. Okay. Now. I have an egg beater and it does work. It is made by um, A and J as a patent number made in the US of A. Uh, Angela, I don't think so, sweetheart. Any more butterfly things? Uh, not today, but I will be bringing more butterfly stuff out, Angela. I've got more stuff I just didn't bring out today. This one is really old. Uh, it is from, probably from the 30s because of the green handle. It's, you know, I mean, it's been used a lot because it's pretty vintage looking. Anyway, it is $5 number eight. $5 number eight. And, I mean, it can still be used if you're 
at an emergency. It works really Let's good. Stir your pancake batter. Make instant pudding. Mama's treasures. Hello, Mama's Treasures. Oh, well, I'm glad that you got, were able to come. So, let's say I told you, it was $5, number eight, correct? $5, number eight. Hello, Gina. Hi, Gina Marie. When I bought this the other day, I had to get somebody to get it down for me because it was on the top shelf. Go figure. Oh, Gina Marie got, got the uh, mixer. I got it. We got you, Gina. So anyway, it was way up top. And uh, I put a... I'm Mama J. Hi, Mama J. I put an electric candle in there. It does have two or three little um, flea bites on the edge. There's one. Uh, let's see. There's, I know there's a couple other ones somewhere. There's one. But anyway, it's just a couple little flea bites. There's no cracks or, you know, big Show chips. Show the or stem, too. And then it's on this big, long stem. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It would look really nice as a centerpiece on a table. Even for, you know, for, like for Easter and stuff. You could drink out of it if you're really thirsty. Um, but I put the, you know, the electric candle in here to show you how pretty it would be with a, you know, like a big pillar candle in there. So anyway, it is $8. And it is number 20. Eight dollars, number twenty. Huh. What? What are you hugging about? Look at uh, what Gina said. That's a fancy cashew holder. Oh. <laughs> they're getting to where at every sale they are talking about cashews now. Party funny, party funny. It is quite a lovely cashew holder, I have to say. I have these beautiful uh, salt and pepper shakers. They are made in Japan. I bought some corks, and uh, they were all quite large. <laughs> so I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I wish I was eating something right now. Um, so this one does have one cork, but the other one's missing because the corks I got are, are huge. It said they were... For salt and pepper shakers, but um, they're ma these are made in Japan. I can't tell who makes it. It looks kind of like a Nesco, like their sticker, but I couldn't read it even with a loop because it's kind of worn. But it is. Um, it would be. Oh, hi, Norma Jean. You guys are all just popping up. Anyway, these are the most beautiful salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to show them to you one at a time. Look at that. I just think they're gorgeous. Of course, I love dogs. There's no chips or cracks or anything like that. So. Oh, my gosh. My nose is itching so bad. So what is it? I took the tape off and I don't want to do with it. Do you know? Can you find it? Okay. Uh, what do you call them? Cocker Spaniel. Oh, Cocker Spaniels. Uh, uh, the pair is, they're $12 and number 15. 
Okay, so these are $12, and they're number 15. They went for way more than that on eBay. Quite a bit more, anyway. $12, number 15. Bye, Angela. Have fun at work. Yeah, where, I don't know where I put the thing. I know I put it on there. I don't know. I don't know either. I have another piece of jewelry. This one is silver tone. Hi, Nate. Hey, Nate. Uh, this is also Avon. And it is a wishbone necklace. And it is five dollars number twenty three. Five dollars number twenty three. It has been snowing here and snowing here and snowing here and snowing here. I think it stopped for one second. It's not really snowing now. Oh no, but it's supposed to keep snowing later. So what was the number on that? Number 23. Number 23. $5 for a wishbone necklace. Okay. Um, I have this vintage Santa Claus Avon bottle. It is full. It actually smells really good. It's, uh, here's my heart, I think. Still smells good. Some bucks. I am. I am in, uh, Indiana. Northern Indiana. And, uh, anyway, this is Mr. Santa. He's in great shape. He, I need to get his some paper off of him. Still has the box with it, which is nice. It's like a two-for-one kind of decoration. And it is $7, number 11. $7, number 11, for the Santa Claus Avon bottle with the cologne. Rebecca Higgins. Hi, Sue. Rebecca Higgins on the job again. All right. Oh. Okay, I've got the most, to me, the most adorable. Yes, I, I am feeling better. Uh... Uh, you know, I, I'm, yes, I'm getting things caught up and I'm feeling better. I think this is the cutest, most darlingest little girl I've ever seen. I'm going to guess it's from the 40s due to her hairstyle. Looks like the old Shirley Temple style. And um, she is... I'm not sure what she's holding in her hand. Um, it's got an apron on, so maybe it's a dish towel or something. I'm not sure. I thought it was knitting, but it might be a dish towel. Hi, Chicago lady. What's up, girlfriend? And she is... Uh, I never can pronounce this right, but it's Yukago. Yukako, Yukago. In Japan, made it in Japan. And she's pretty good. I'd say she's about nine, ten inches. I'd say about ten inches. And she doesn't have any uh, paint loss, really. She's in really good shape, really good shape. What's that made of? It is ceramic. 
I love her little eyes. She's like, looks like she's half asleep. Anyway, she is $10, and she's number three. $10, number three for the little girl who's doing tissues. Now, a bunch of you guys saw this uh, in my haul and seemed to like it really well. And it is this little, uh, I think it's a little Irish couple dancing because they are wearing green. It's a green rug. It's just green and gold. I don't think it's Santa because I don't think he would be dressed like that. And... Um, this little couple doing the dance, looks like they're doing the jig, are, is $6, number 17. There's no cracks or chips or anything. It's in great condition. It's really, really cute. Yeah, it's a very, very pale green. It's not dark. It's real pale. What you saw is basically what I'm seeing. I know it's kind of... Okay. I have another piece of Avon jewelry. This one was like a unisex... I got it because I love anchors and, oh, there's some light. Anchors and nautical stuff. Hi, Melody. How are you, honey? And it is, oh, I'm over here. It is this anchor necklace. And uh, it's got like embossing on the front. Like, oh, it's brushed on the front. Ooh, what a, what a head rush. And, uh, uh, it's an 18 inch chain for sure. It's $5, number 22. $5, number 22 for the anchor necklace. <clears throat> okay, I have this um, cotton dish towel. It is from Florida, and it is really cool. Um, it is has all kinds of stuff on it. It has, let's see what it says here. This is 100% cotton, made in India. The Blue Wahoo Stadium, for something or other, National Naval Aviation Museum, Blue Angels, Pensacola, uh, yada, yada, yada. Looks like it might have been sold at a Navy base with all that stuff on it. It's in beautiful shape. Colors are all still good. There's no holes or anything like that. No stains. And it is $6, number six. I I could do that. I had thought of that when I saw um, All in the Attic Treasures. Yep. 
Um, I have not sold anything to you before, so could you please register or, you know, put down your, your send me your information so that I know who to send this to. Um, February is usually your hottest month. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, I think I need to change what's in my corner cabinet, though it's boring right now. It's mostly glasses, but um, I'm going to start putting other stuff in it because I'm running out of places to put stuff. Oh, terrible. Okay, so there we got that. Now. I have another snowman, guys. He is tall. And he is rustic. He's got a a broom. He's got a bunch of hearts on him. He has a uh, that's actually a stick. And you can use them as you can use them as an ornament if you want. I actually do hang big ornaments on my tree. He is. Really neat little buttons. He is six dollars and he is number nine. Six dollars, number nine. Rebecca Higgins. There's actually been good snow for making snowmen here. So I keep trying to sing that song from, um, oh, okay, I know that. I know that, uh, your account, John and Marianne. I got gotcha. you. So that song from, uh, Frozen, do you want to make a snowman or do you want to build a snowman? Um, I, I love the song. I keep wanting to sing it when I see a snowman, but I can't. I can't get the tune right. I don't know why. I can carry a tune. I just can't remember exactly what the tune is. This book is, I think, from 1908. I'm pretty sure that this one is, uh, that I'm about to show you, is dated. you got to see this picture in here. Uh, All in the Attic Treasure says that she's under John and Mary Ann's Yeah, account. I saw that. I saw it. And I know who she is. It says, this is my book, and it's got a name and everything, and who gave it to him. But look at this picture here. This is called The Curly Tops at Cherry Farm. I had never heard of them. This is not the uh, Bobsy Twins. These are the Curly Tops, and they're from... I want to say it's 1908. I had the thingy here somewhere. Nine, oh, no, 1918. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. But look at that picture. Isn't that precious? Things were so much prettier in those days. Anyway, it is $5 and it is number one. Five dollars, number one, for the curly tops at Cherry Farm. I missed something. What happened with a uh, pickle tank? I have missed it. Okay, I've got this little um, set of salt and pepper shakers. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I am so, so sorry. Ugh. Just a bummy winter. 
Um, I have these birds. Believe it or not, they are birds. They, I mean, it is a set. There is a darling little owl and a little yellow bird. And they're both polka dotted. They both have their little stoppers. And uh, there's really nothing wrong with them. That might be like a little paint loss there, but it's minuscule. They are $5, number 18. $5, number 18 for the bird salt and pepper shaker. Suspizio. These look like something just right out of the 70s, I'm going to tell you. Hi, Mama J. Yes, uh, Tank, I am so sorry for you. What a heck of a thing to find out. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I have this little sweet girl here. She's reading the three bears to her stuffed bears. And there's nothing wrong with it. Um, everything's intact. No chips or cracks or anything. It is made by Inesco. It's from 1982. Um, it was made in Taiwan. And it's called Treasures Memories. I'll tell you a story. It is $7, number four. $7, number four. For the darling little girl telling her bears a story. Looks like she's in her nightgown. Oh, look at, look at their tails. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, so you want the green couple? Okay. Uh, Ron, she is... So, yeah. Okay. What, what's the number? It is number 17, $6. You know what you could probably do is uh, take some watercolors and very lightly darken them. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay. I got you, Sue. All right, I have these vintage. Um, I believe they are copper. Um, oil lamps. They hang on the wall. They are missing their globe. Um, little chimneys. But they are um, yeah. They are made by Aurora Standard in British Hong Kong. And they're quite old. They're ten dollars number nineteen. Ten dollars number nineteen. And then they can be also like this. Yeah, I need to, I was going to try to find some. I haven't had the chance yet. I got another piece of jewelry. And it is an Avon ring. It is adjustable. It is these little, um, hopefully you can see it. It's a pink, very pale pink stone in the center. And a little white, like pearl beads around the side, edges. There's nothing missing or anything. Um, so like I said, well, I can wear it on my finger if I can get it. I'll find a finger without a 
looks like that and it is five dollars number 21 five dollars number 21 for the little Avon ring Okay, the next thing I have for you guys is two little bo miniature bowls and pitchers. There's this one, which is an apple. And uh, the pitcher looks like this. The bottom, I will touch up. It is uh, from it people doing like that you know with it on this but it is really cute and then the other one is uh, this clear glass I don't believe it's lead crystal but it's clear glass and it looks like this and I thought if somebody bought these they could start collecting them and be buying other ones was my thought that's how I got started collecting a million things, <laughs> a million things. they are six dollars for the two bowl and pitchers and they are number 12 six dollars number 12 goodness guys don't you want to start collecting something else Okay, I think I only have a couple more things. All right, I have this Homer Laughlin. It is, you can see it right, right there, uh, cup and saucer, the uh, blue willow pattern. And there's no chips or cracks or crazing, really. I was collecting various cups and saucers so that when my daughters came over, we could have tea. So if you'd like to start a tradition like this, this cup and saucer is $10, number 16. And the fact that it's Homer Laughlin is a good thing. Ten dollars, number sixteen. <laughs> uh, for the cup and saucer. And let's see, my last item is this very pretty bell. That is um, made by St. George from uh, England. It is Bone China. <laughs> Sounds really pretty. And these are beautiful um, little uh, violets all over it. Oh, well, thank you, Lynn. Mary Cox wanted 12. We got you, Mary. And uh, this pretty bell is $5. And it's number five. $5, number five. I uh, cut my bangs so they didn't look so bad. And it's made a big difference right there. And it looks so uh, droopy now. Okay. $5, number five. Five on five. Fifty-five, double nickel. Okay. Oh, do you really?
so does uh, Nathan, that Nathan Baker that always comments. Um, I might, uh, Terry Nichols, hello. Yeah, well, I had to have a quick sale. I had a quick sale because uh, I wanted to have a sale. Because <laughs> I did I was afraid if I didn't see everybody today, I'm not going to see you guys till next Thursday. So, yeah. Unless I find stuff before then and I want to show you. But anyway, um, I have. Is there anything you would like to see again? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'll try the little girl back there. Well, let me see if they. How many things make a collection? I w yeah, I'd say more. Listen to Nate. He would know. Three or more. So, my goodness. There's a good start right there. There's two. One more and you'd have a collection. Uh, Cheryl, you know what? I didn't advertise it very well. I stuck it in here because I'm not having one Friday. And we'll be gone the following week. Oh, show the Irish couple so your husband can. And it I'm going sold. away. She wants her husband to see it. Oh. Looks like this. And if you'd like, I can move in and just go like this all the time. I can be its twirler. I'm sh I'm sorry, Cheryl. I should have uh, advertised it better. You know, I should have put something on my channel and whatnot. But um, I didn't. I'm amazed how many people showed up out of the clear blue. And it makes me so happy that you guys came, cause and and he'll you know take what that means. he'll take me too. <laughs> happy, happy flowers um, in her hair. And I don't do windows, but I do make coffee. Flowers everywhere. And I can make spaghetti. And today I'm making chicken shell soup. Okay, you Joel, well, you want to see the things that didn't sell? All right, first of all, the little darling girl telling the story to her teddy bears did not sell. And it is $7, number four. Uh, you know what, Mama J, I love, I have many, many miniatures as well because I love miniatures. Hi, hi, Stephanie. How are you doing, honey? I have a card for you sitting on my table, but uh, I was going to put it in the mailbox, but somebody uh, mowed down our mailbox. So I'm going to have to hand it to the mailman. I saw you were doing a sale with, uh, you were going to do your sale with uh, D today. Well, I just want you to know that I love you and you're in my thoughts and prayers. And uh, if you need to talk or anything, just just holler. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it. first of all, he it was him and, and, and a young woman. And they'd obviously been uh, having a party somewhere. So they first plowed into our carport and dinged up the uh pole and then they just kept right on going and mowed down our very substantial mailbox it, it's a wood thing and it had a light electrical running through it and then there was a mailbox on either side the next door neighbors had theirs on there it's a it was mailboxes on a six by six Yeah, yeah, and the weird thing was, I heard, I heard, boom, 
And I jumped up. I go, what was that? Well, Bandit for a moment didn't really. He was kind of like, uh. And then he started barking and barking and barking and barking and barking. And then uh, I finally, after much shaking and slapping of Ron, got him awake. No, she was choking. And so, so he said, ah, it's just somebody, I don't know. And finally, I didn't want to go out there, but he finally went out there and he came back in and he goes, oh my gosh, you should see what they did. Uh, I'm sure they were okay. They, I believe they were fine. Other than they're now going to have to pay. Well, they don't have to pay for a mailbox. Because the, por the park was going, oh, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll give you a new one. I said, okay. Okay, so I showed you the little girl. I showed you the collection again. Um, I'm not sure what didn't sell, so. Well, I'm quite sure. Hi, Terry. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ron and I know that song. We're old. Yeah, I'm 100 years old, Terry. No, not our state. Our, uh, n our neighborhood. Is it Sarsanella? I used to have a friend named Arcella. Sarsanella. Let's see. So, um, I don't know what didn't sell, Ronnie. Oh, uh, ready? Curly Taps, a book. Oh. Okay. The other old book didn't sell. Curly Tops. $5. From 1918. So, it's over 100 years old. Very cute. It still has its dust cover. College Debt Circus. That's a good name. My daughter lives in that college debt. Um, let's see. What else? What else, Ron? Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, the Chicago girl with, uh, with the knitting in her hand. Oh, okay. I know this didn't sell the... Um, Homer Laughlin, uh, Blue Willow Cup and Saucer. So what is it? Lynn Dowdy said she would like the book. Lynn Dowdy. Okay. Curly Tops. Curly Top. Uh, uh. And no one bought this darling, darling little girl. Joel, da, 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 Lynn Dowdy. I'm, I'm looking for Lynn Dowdy. I can't see it. She just said it to me. So it's number... Uh, okay. Number one. Uh, anyway, the cute little girl. She is $10. Made in Japan. Looks Number like, three. Looks like a little 40s girl. Number three. Um, I don't believe this sold. The uh, Brandy Snifter. For uh, $8. Number 20. It has a clear stem on it. Which is cool. Oh, let's see. The dogs. Salt and pepper shakers didn't sell. All in the attic. Number, number 20. 20. Thank you, All in the Attic. Uh, and I also need you to send me your information because I don't have it. Or did I already say that? Yes, Polly's project. I see you, my dear. So the little dogs. Yes, Polly's project. Every move you make, every step you take. Hi, empty nesting. We'll be watching you. 
No one could see you all day. I am never Everyone that. I am never that lucky. Me. Anyway, these were twelve dollars. They're uh, made in Japan Every step by somebody. Um. Puppies. What number? Puppies are. I don't know. I, that I couldn't find the thing. You have to tell me. Okay, uh, fifteen. The Japan Cocker Spaniel Salt and Pepper Shakers are twelve dollars. And they're number 15. Number 15, $12. 15. Hello, Polly. You you heard that uh, song I was singing, Every Move You Make? We'll be watching you. All right, sweet Serbian. Uh, I'm so glad to see you. Is it night, night time? Uh, nobody bought number 18, did they? Uh, Sue Spezio. Sue Spezio's bought it. Yes, he loves to sing. Uh, he loves to sing. Let's see. I had some jewelry that didn't sell. I don't think the ring sold. Oh, that sounds like fun. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. You put butter on your popcorn. This Avon ring is available for five dollars. Half oh butter, my. half cheese. Oh my goodness, Polly's. Uh, I, I just did my chemo injection. Yes, she's sick. I'm sorry, baby. She always feels real crummy afterwards. Uh, my prayers are for you. Are with you. Maybe that's why nobody can see you. It makes you invisible. Yes, I'm always. I know it's awful, and I'm. I'm sorry. Paula, you know that I love you and God loves you too. And I have the uh, wishbone necklace from a very, very small turkey. Very small. Uh, what else? I don't know. I didn't. Ha I didn't have a lot because I was gonna have a small. Show sale. the wishbone again, please. Show the wishbone again. Show the wishbone again. Well. Paul, he said she will take it. Paul is going to take it. And that was uh, what number? It is number 23. Thank you, Paula. Um, well, I just don't know, guys. I believe... Uh, Hang on. Somebody's got a sale going on about now. Uh, the anchor necklace. Why does somebody ask to see it? Well, yeah. Uh, is there any way you could tell what I bought? I have the numbers. Yes. Say the numbers and I'll tell you what you bought. And I have the um, anchor necklace. This is it. Uh, number two is what, Ron? 
Uh, number two, I believe, is, was the book. Is the Campfire Girls uh, Test of Friendship? Yeah, the Campfire uh, Girls book seven is. Actually, it's not 1918. It's uh, 1914. Don't worry about it. What's number seven? Number seven is the Amethyst uh, Colored Bowl. Okay, and eleven. And eleven is uh, uh, the Santa Cologne, the Avon Santa Cologne. Number nine. Bye, Stephanie. I will see you at your sale, babe. Oh, uh, the snowman with hearts. The snowman with hearts. That's a guy about 15, 16 inches tall. Boom, boom. boom. Snowman with hearts. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. So anyway, guys, I love you so much. I am glad that you have forgiven me for being such a dork and sending stuff out late and whatnot. I mean, I guess, you know, it's... Later, Mama J. Yes, bye, Mama J. I will probably see you at one of the other sales. All right, Terry. And I will see you all... I will see you uh, whenever I do... Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rebecca. And thank all of you who have come to the sale. And um, hopefully you got my email address when uh, Vintage and Vinyl was plunking it up there. Uh, if you need it, let me know and I'll have Ron stick it up there one more time. Paula, we'll be thinking about you. I always think about Paula. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I can't even believe it's been five years. Sometimes it seems... Well, people assume, you know, that we've been married, like, for many years... I think partly because we're older and partly because of the way we act. But, um, <clears throat> but no. Yeah, but no. Hi, Perfecting Pearls. We were just getting ready to say goodbye. Hello, goodbye. You say hello and I say goodbye. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say hello. I say goodbye. <laughs> But I'll see you soon. And as I said, I will not have a sale Friday. It is night, scheduled that I'm not having night. one. And I will have a Again. at least one uh, Here's a wish. live uh, haul Until while I'm gone. Until we uh, we've been together about Again. seven years. I'd say we were together a couple years before we got married. We wanted to make sure that we were, uh, yellow. You can go somewhere else for that. We yeah. wa we wanted to make sure that we yeah. should get married. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike. Can I call if I'm cheap insurance rate? Uh, it's kind of funny because we got married on my grandson's birthday. And he'll be 11 this year. Uh, let's see, so he was six. And... We just had a few people in the front of the church. Well, when my daughter came in with the boys, this little kid, he looked like he was about to die. Five years and, or seven years together and five years married. So anyway, he was so sick that he didn't even remember that we got married. And thank you, Terry. Yeah, I was I was the one that was sick. And so the so another time I said something to him, but well, you know me and Ron are married. He goes, nah. -uh. I I said you were there. He said I was not. So we're going out to eat with him on Friday for his birthday because we're almost always gone on 
for our anniversary. So we're going to go to a steak place and eat with them. And yeah. and then we're going to go bye-bye on Monday. All right, guys. I love you so much. Take care. And uh, I will get everything all straightened out here in the next day or two. Be safe. If it's snoring where you're at, be careful. And... Keep wearing them masks. Alrighty. Bye bye, guys. Oh. Okay. Where is it? Hey, guess what? Another car got uh, jacked. I know that's hard to believe, isn't it? Why won't it go? Bye bye. It won't go bye bye now. Well, guys, I am leaving eventually here. I don't know what's wrong. Babies. Oh, we do. We do. We are so afraid. Babies. Well, I don't know what's wrong.